Alright, so I'm going to show you how to do a quick and easy change out of your uh, combi valve here. Uh, it's going to be for most of the 2.5 Volkswagens. Some cars this technique can't be used with, but I do know the uh, Volkswagen Jetta and the Volkswagen Passat should be pretty much the same. Um, the tools you're going to need for this is a quarter inch drive ratchet quarter inch drive extension about six inches and one short 10 millimeter socket all right let's get at it now I'll show you how to replace it um, without having to jack the vehicle I saw a lot of people on the thing saying you, you'll have to jack the vehicle up and go in from the side go underneath there and undo the two bolts from the bottom side uh, you don't really have to uh, you probably will have to do that technique only if you've got a Volkswagen Beetle which has got the firewall really close right there and it rolls up over the engine um, but most of these bigger vehicles like the Passat and the Jetta here they've got enough room to get your hand worked down in behind there um, the technique that I use is I actually just lay my full body right over this area right here I don't really like putting a lot of weight on the intake manifold but as long as you can rest most of your body weight you know up on the valve cover there and down here on the front plastic cover um, it doesn't take a lot on the intake there so you can push your hand down in there and actually do everything you need to all right all right to get in there to that combi valve it's got a plastic cover on here you're going to have to pull up so first of all there's going to be two I think it's um, either a 20 or 25 torque bit um, then you're going to have to undo your hose clamp that's on the end of here um, which is turns actually up in there and you're just going to undo the hose clamp push it to the upper side leave it on the uh, shield over there and then pull that hose down and then that whole thing will clip up off there just give it a few easy uh, yanks up and down and it should pop loose from the plastic uh, um, hold down areas and then uh, like that right there and then your combi valve is right there and then I'll show you how to get down in there and take it off Basically, I'm going to show you the installation, um, and the installation is exactly the same as taking it off. So, uh, we'll go ahead and do that now, and I'll show you how to replace it. We're going to go ahead and install it now. It's going to slide right back down in here. You're going to take your small screw and fish your hand back down underneath here and there's a metal bracket you're going to have to go through first that metal bracket there and the easiest thing to do is go ahead and hang the metal bracket on that hole there once you got all that done and you should be able to Fish it around a bit until you find that other hole on the block. And it should be able to start right in there. It's easy to start with the outside hole first. And let that hold everything in position for you. You can have your hands all free. And then we'll fish down the other one. On the other side there. This one's a little tough because it's got that wire in the way, so you have to rotate it around until it fits. Once you get lined up, it should slip right in there. 
Okay, so now the two bottom ones are in. I'll go ahead and start the two top ones. Rock it around a bit until you can get it. You can kind of feel it when it drops down into the hole. And you just have to use one finger and kind of twist it around for a bit until it starts threading itself in. Alright, so I got a few threads on that one now. Now this back side one over here on this side. This is going to be pointing towards the battery box, the driver's side. You're going to have to use your extension and your socket, and you're going to feed it down through that hose right there. See if you can stick it on the socket and line it up with that hole. What you do is press it in. Have to wiggle just a little bit. Extension, she should start turning herself in there. Okay. And all you gotta do is just tighten her down. Alright, so we'll go ahead and grab the ratchet here. Since we already have it on that socket, we're gonna go ahead and leave it there, push the ratchet down underneath. Click it in and tighten it down. And since all of them are in their holes, you won't have to worry about aligning everything. Okay, so that one's on. And since it's a quarter inch drive, um, we'll just give it a really decent twist and it should be torqued down pretty good. There's no reason to torque them as long as you got it tight. Now this one, this top one on this side is a little bit hard from time to time to get in there because the socket just barely fits in between the uh, head of the bolt and the actual housing of the unit. So you can't really tell if you've got it on or if you're just spinning around on the outside. I'm pretty sure I got it on right now. It just takes a while to run that bolt up there. Now the hardest part is getting these one torqued down without that socket jumping off. Okay. And we're ready to move down to the bottom. To tighten those two up on the bottom. And you're ready to plug everything back in. On the bottom you could use the uh, extension just to get enough room to get a good twist on it because right now my hand is actually having to go so far forward around there that when I push on the ratchet it's wanting to pop the socket off the, the head of the nut or bolt so sometimes if you use the extension you can get your whole hand on there and really hold it up against that bolt. Problem is it's trying to find it. There you go. And you can get a whole lot more torque on it that way. Okay. Get that side. Get that one. And sometimes you can fish your other hand down there. And grab it, but it's really difficult. So it's usually best just to try doing it with one hand. Okay, so there we go. And so on. Moved in. I know. Bolt it up. Now we're going to plug it in. Click that one back on. And put your hose back on this side, and you're done. <laughs>